So it's the second of the three T20 internationals at the MCG. India on a high after going 1-0 up in Adelaide. They knew this was a chance to get their first ever bilateral series win over Australia if they could get a result here. They opted to chase again in the same way that they did in Adelaide. And Julian Goswami with the ball struck early and the Southern Stars found themselves a couple of wickets down oh, before the innings well was very taken. old. Well taken running back. That is not easy. And Beth Mooney is on her way back. Meg Lanning, though, came together with Jess Jonathan. They put on a 50-plus partnership together, playing some wonderful shots, Lanning was. Gone, dispatched. No. Until on 49, Lanning was run out in freak fashion at the non-striker's end, and that started an Australian collapse. Oh, now, did she get anything on it? I think she got a finger to it. They were eight for 125 at the end of the 18 overs after rain had meant a delay to the start of the game. India set about their chase in attacking fashion. Oh, and a stumping chance, really good keeping. And they were well on their way when rain interrupted play again. India resumed, needing 14 to win off the last 13 balls, and they got there for a memorable 10 wicket victory. And India have won their first series against Australia. We have Smriti Mandana here who is out in the middle to hit the winning run. Smriti, you guys are getting pretty good at chasing down totals, aren't you? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, we have uh, played a lot of domestic cricket coming uh, coming into this tour. And uh, in domestic, individually, everyone have, uh, have liked chasing. So coming into the uh, together and we uh, everyone likes chasing. So it's, it's coming off well for us as a team. You were all, we saw the emotion when you won the match in Adelaide. Are you less surprised now by this result, given that you'd already proved how good you are and that you could beat the Southern Stars? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we have yet to prove yet, uh, not yet proved wholly, uh, but yeah, it was nice to beat them uh, because they are the world number one team and uh, they have won World Cup for, the, for two or three times, so uh, beating them at home was a very good boost for us uh, leading up to the World Cup. Were you a little worried when Meg Lanning was coming together with Jess Jonathan with the bat? They put on more than 50 runs together. It seemed really vital to get Lanning's wicket. Yeah, uh, it was a, a pretty important wicket for us because she's the world number one player. And um, it was lucky, unlucky for her. But um, we, we knew somewhere down the line that uh, if one wicket we took early, then it would be great for us. Did you know a lot about the Australian players? Because the way you've come out and just attacked their bowlers, yeah. well, it seems if you, you have these plans that you know exactly what you want to do. But yeah, I had watched quite a few videos of them, uh, of the Ashes last, Ashes. So I had uh, like planned a bit, but uh, executing it is a different thing. And it, it came off well, so that's good for me. Well, Southern Stars captain Meg Lanning with me now. Meg, two defeats against India. Have they taken you by surprise somewhat with the man they've come out and, and really taken the attack to Australia? Oh, look, they've certainly improved from the last time we played them and, you know, we, we didn't take them lightly at all. We knew they'd come here and play aggressive cricket and take us on. Uh, they've played better than us in the, in the first two games. It's as simple as that. So, you know, we've had patches where we've played well, but not um, the complete game. So, full credit to India. They've come out here and started off the series really well. Could be trouble. You had a great partnership with Jess Jonathan. You were one shy of your 50 when it was something of a, a freak run out, which then <laughs> precipitated a collapse. But has that ever happened to you before at the non-striker's end? Yeah, I've been out a couple of times like that, um, but that's the nature of the game. Unfortunately, it did start a, a bit of a collapse for us, um, and that probably cost us getting an extra 15 or 20, 20 runs, which certainly would have been nice. But having said that, you always want a few more runs. So, um, yeah, disappointing loss, I guess. Again, India came out really strong with the bat. Does it make you think differently about how to bowl to their top order? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're probably slightly different players to probably players around the world. They hit different angles um, than most players. So, we, we, you know, we certainly planned a lot after the first game, after what we saw, and we'll have to do that again um, to make sure that, um, you know, we're executing as well as we can. I think that's the, the bit we've been missing is executing our plans. I think our plans are fine. We just haven't been able to hit the right areas enough. As you brought in Holly Ferling for this match, and Lauren Cheetle made her debut as well. Is that uh, as much as anything to make sure that those players get a run out with the World T20 coming up? Oh, look, I thought, we, you know, we thought this wicket would, would suit them. And I think, I thought we saw with Holly that the, there was good bounce and carry and she really got something out of the wicket. So I thought she actually bowled quite well. Um, and Cheadle's had a fantastic WBBL and really deserved her chance to, to play today. So um, we always pick the team that we think is going to win the game uh, every time. And we'll do that again on Sunday. So we've got one more T20 to come and then the one day series as well. Meg Lanning are there, everyone. And we will keep you up to date on cricket.com.au.